Hello, I'm Pilar Archila, your Pure Gold host. I'm sitting here with Chuck Bass, and Chuck is the CEO, owner of Bass Physical Therapy. Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation. <laughs> and Rehabilitation. Yeah. <laughs> How are you today? Doing good. Well, um, I'm doing fine too, and I'm happy to have you here. Uh, Chuck, are you here uh, from Lawrence County? Are you from Dublin? Uh, born and raised in Lawrence County in 1960, and I've been here all my life. My oh, family's good. born and raised in Lawrence County. So. Really? I mean, for several generations here? Uh, yeah, pretty much. It uh, goes back to my, I know my grandmother and grandfather on both sides oh. were born. And raised here? And you own right now Bass Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation. Yes, ma'am. Was that a family business or? It was started by my father in 1965. And we'll be celebrating our 50th year coming wow. out this coming year. So you were only five when he started. That's right. <laughs> and uh, was your father a therapist or he, he was just? A, he was a physical therapist. And my mother kind of has been involved. Uh, she started basically in the early 70s or mid-70s, getting more involved with the office part of it. And then um, my wife came in, and I think in 78, we hadn't gotten married yet. But where, did you meet, where did you meet Denise? At college, at jo uh, Middle Georgia College. Okay. And then um, we, we got married in uh, 82, December of 82. And she's been working at the office. Uh, ever since. I mean, even before? Even before we had got married. Yep. She was working in the office part. Yes. How many children do you have? I have two girls, Whitney and Cammie. Whitney's the oldest and Whitney's got her doctorate in physical therapy. And she came back three years ago and she's now working. So she's, so third, she's, she's third generation. She's carrying on the... That's right. The business. And then I got Cammie, my, she's, uh, Whitney's married to Corey Hobbs from Dexter, and uh, Corey grew up in Dexter, and then Cammie married a uh, fellow, Alex Clark, from uh, Watkinsville, and they're now back in Watkinsville, and he owns a Chick-fil-A store in Athens, so they were in Tampa. Oh. That's the furthest we'd ever had anybody in our family yes. separate. We've never, you know, even my nieces and my sisters, all their... Everybody's... Was, she was the furthest away. And, uh, and she's they, back, they, I mean, at they least in two Georgia. Hours. They're two <laughs> hours away, which makes a big difference. And they had their first baby, our first granddaughter, a year ago. Ah, let's yeah. talk about her. She is so cute. Yeah, she's, she's a mess. She is. Is she walking now? Just about. She's, she'll take a few steps. But she's getting close. It won't be long. I have seen pictures. She is drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're really enjoying Ivy. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? I mean, grandchildren are just wonderful. They sure are. Yeah, they're a blessing. You just love them, love them, and then you send them back. <laughs> yeah. So you carry uh, your father's, you know, legacy, I guess. Um, I personally has been there as a patient. I've been there working as an interpreter, and uh, there is, to me, a wonderful, wonderful company. You have great therapists. Uh, you have great people working with you. We try to make it family environment. Try it to feels keep it like a family. Yes. When you come come in, so that's why my father wanted to do things and we've kind of cared try to carry on that same tradition yes and you're doing it just great uh i mean it, it's real bad when you have an accident or when you need to go and see a therapist but it's real nice when you go and you feel like family are taking care of you and that's how i felt really truly well, and i really that's why we, we want to try to do it yeah, and in every single way, uh, I remember having trouble with the insurance, and and all of you were so patient, and and Denise, you know, don't worry about it. We're gonna work things out. So, make me feel like it was not 
all about money. I really don't care about you, Pilar, but we need your money. It was more like we want Pilar to be okay and feeling good. And I really appreciate that. Yeah, Denise, she deals with those insurance companies every day. <laughs> she feels like pulling her hair out most of the time. But she, it's uh, not fun. It's not, but she, she tries to treat everybody like you're talking about. Yes, and she, wonderful. And uh, I mean, not I mean, the whole thing, the whole group is just great. Well, thank you. Yes. Um, you're a member of the Chamber of Commerce, I know that, and you're one of the board. Yeah, got on. Randy, my brother-in-law, is the uh, president, I guess, or this year, so he talked me into being on the board. And you see, that's time. what brother-in-laws yeah, are for. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, Talking about mess, he's a mess. Oh, yeah. He does a good job. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> yeah, he's, Randy does... Randy's is here and there, but like everywhere, everybody knows yes, Randy. everybody knows Randy, and everybody loves him. So he talked you into being there. And what can you tell me about the benefits of being involved with the Chamber of Commerce? Well, we're trying to. Uh, it's just you know you always think you you know. I'm considered a small business, real small business, but you got bigger, you got large industries here, and they're all members of the chamber. But uh, it's just business people, business owners coming together. Uh, the chamber's there to, if you have a problem, to uh, contact them and see if they can help you in any way. Right. It's also um, a way for, you know, like business after hours for businesses to get together or members of the chamber and and talk and you know you might find some ideas what this one's doing that's working and it's just a helpful organization yeah. when you need something uh, usually you don't even realize the chamber's there until you want something and so, uh, <laughs> until you need something and I can one example I was on the uh, the country club at one time was struggling yes and I remember and, that and uh, the chamber was very beneficial in that we were able to contact the chamber and say hey can you help get the word out to different ones about memberships or different right. type of memberships in the chamber? And Willie was really helpful uh, in doing helping, helping with, with that. that yes, helping keep that. And that's you know they're there not just for the you know you think the chamber's there just for the bigger industries, but they're there for anybody that that needs needs assistance and yeah and, 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 and exactly and having this problem or this one they. They, you know, they can't fix it, but they can get the answer that you need and help. Right. And even if you're not a business owner, uh, I noticed that um, when I first moved here, you know, I didn't own any business or nothing, but I just stopped by the chamber, and they were very, very helpful. And whatever, you know, you need, they have at least the information, right. and they guide you. Where to go when you need something. <laughs> That's right. It's more of a networking type deal. Yes, exactly. Um, I think that is very uh, helpful. Now, was um, your family, your parents, um, members of the Chamber of Commerce when they first? Yes, ma'am. So that's something that continues also? Yes, ma'am. We've always been a member. I feel like it's very important to be a member. Uh, yeah. Just uh, you know, a strong chamber, or any, and, uh, and you know, you can't associate like Lawrence County Chamber of Commerce with the National Chamber of Commerce. It's you know, it's totally different. Their viewpoints up at the National Chamber might be totally different from our viewpoints are down here. Right. So don't get those two confused. But it's just a uh, a strong chamber helps helps everybody in the community. It helps with business and it brings more people into the community to shop and right. and to spend money and, and uh, promote Lawrence County so it can grow. Exactly. It's the very first, uh, um, I guess, when you open the door, it's the very first thing you see. And if we have a strong chamber, if we have, if they know, I mean, what they're doing, uh, you have a feeling as per se, uh, the new company looking into uh, Lawrence County, they're going to have a good feeling after they meet people at the chamber. Right. We're going to 
take a very short break, uh, Chuck, and please don't go away. Uh, we'll be right back. For all my Christmas shopping, there's only one place, classic florist and home decor. And with over 2,500 square feet of Christmas merchandise and trees, home accessories, scented candles and prints, also Vera Bradley and jewelry and baby gifts, furniture and more, you have to know by now that Classic Florist and Home Decor is not your average flower shop. And Classic has the experience and talent to offer you their 100% satisfaction guarantee every single time. Classic Florist and Home Decor is family owned and operated, conveniently located on Hillcrest Parkway in Dublin. And from our family to yours, Merry Christmas. Well, if you have just joined us, uh, I'm here with Chuck Bass uh, from Bass Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation. And we're talking about different things. And one of the things is the Chamber of Commerce, which is very important for our community to have a very strong Chamber of Commerce. One of the things that I noticed, Chuck, uh, last business after hours that I attended, uh, actually the last one that we had, uh, we had a program, and that was the first time we had a program that remind me like like the um, Rotary Club, you know, yeah. <laughs> with programs. Um, and that program was very interesting with Tiffany Lofton, yeah. and and it was about the Career Academy, uh, which I thought it was very interesting to have that here in Lawrence County. Um, I, you were there. I remember seeing you there that day. Uh, what do you think about having programs uh, in our business after hours? Well, that's one of the new things that uh, came out of the retreat. They had a retreat this year at the beginning for the, for the board, all the board members of the chamber. And uh, the retreat was just uh, ways to make the chamber better and what we could do as board members to make things better. Right. And one of the things that... Uh, was discussed that that uh, the chamber, like I mentioned earlier, is for Lawrence County. It's just not for Dublin. I think we got this situation maybe where this you know uh, someone over in this side of the county don't feel as important as you know, right. Dexter or Dudley or whatever. But we want to try to we're wanting to try to include everybody. everybody. Yes. And, and realize that the chamber is there for everybody in, in Lawrence County and, and we want to be available for whatever they for need. For everybody, yeah. So one thing that came out of the retreat was and was that uh, we thought it would be a good idea that each money, each business after hours, that we'll have someone come in 10 minutes yeah. and just share what they're doing in the community. And the first one that we had was Tiffany. Yes. And she talked about the Career Academy, which is vital, and the chamber is really behind that. Yes. And it's getting, um, you know, we've got these industries coming in. They need workers, and the problem we're having is we don't have enough qualified workers. Yeah. And so the Career Academy is there to help. Get to these, solve that. To solve, yeah. To get help with that ready, problem. Work, who, young people or whoever wants to learn a different trade and be able to fill those gaps fill i mean those just gaps so that when the industry comes in hey we got a workforce right so you know we've talked about um there will be a speaker at each business, business after, after hours. hours now business after hours is usually sponsored by four or five businesses yes and uh it's just a way where everybody comes if you've never been to one it's going to be at the chamber tomorrow night 5:30. It starts at 5:30. Uh, be the Christmas one. You just come and and um, fellowship, meet different ones, and then they'll introduce the sponsors and tell about their businesses. But uh, Tiffany spoke at the November one, right? The career, and I think that was good to let everybody know what exactly the Career Academy was. Yes, because like me, I didn't know we had a Career Academy. I just did not know. And uh, I didn't know what was going on in the old uh, uh, West Lawrence right. High School or middle school. And it was great to learn about that. 
So, yeah, I mean, I, I learned a lot just listening to her that night myself. Exactly. So, uh, Do you have any idea who's going to be the next one? Yeah, her husband just so happens, Brad Lofton, is going to uh, speak tomorrow night, and he's going, like I said, 10 minutes. It ain't, it ain't a 30-minute speaking thing. It's just a short. He's uh, Brad is the uh, president of the the uh, Dublin Lawrence County Development Authority, and so he's going to just tell us what's going on and yeah. meet, meet with them. And then we're, our ideas are, you know, we're, we want to get uh, someone from the police department to let us know what's going on in yes. the city. We want to eventually invite someone from Dudley, whether it's the mayor or someone in that area, someone in Dexter, Rents, East Dublin. We want to each month bring in someone something different, different so and let them know hey this is what's going on over in east dublin or this yeah. is what's going on up here in dudley uh this is what we have going on in rents or dexter so everybody's in the same page and, and we say, all know hey, what's going uh, on and those and try to pull everybody more together and get more information out that is wonderful i like That's that idea volunteered to come up with a speaker so if you know anybody, <laughs> that was my next question anything, let me know. <laughs> that call was me, my next question yes i was going to ask you who's in charge of getting these speakers uh that, well <laughs> i'm in charge of it but you know different ones has given me ideas right board, and so and i the ones i've called so far have been very helpful yeah very helpful. so, so the, yeah, i'll be glad to do it so i don't anticipate it being very hard to yeah. Feel that spot. Yeah. So you have like a list, and you know, you know which business after hours who's doing what, and so. Um, I mean, I think it's so interesting that the problem that I think you are going to have is that you're going to have too many speakers, and we're going to have to have uh, more business after hours. <laughs> that's become a very popular business after hours. Has gotten to be very popular. Very and popular. A lot of businesses would love to sponsor, and there's a lot. Li- uh, and I've gone to uh, morning uh, business and breakfast. Business and breakfast. The last one gone. was packed. Yeah, and they've gone to that now. And uh, yeah, a couple ones I've been to lately have been really yeah. Packed. The last one we had a record of people coming to that one. That was at Michael's Daily, right. and I went. And who would have thought that? early in the morning it was going to be so many people there but yes we did and very happy to to have you know that right. many people there like the, like the one before that i believe was at bank of dudley and east yes. and it was slammed to yes the pack, so. <laughs> yes well i guess you know our our chamber of commerce is so actually so good right. that um Wherever you can't beat Willie. Exactly. Yeah, Willie's great. <laughs> Willie's done so much for Dublin and Lawrence County. It's for just uh, our community. To work with her. Yes. Well, Chuck, I think that it's time for us to have another little break. So we're gonna be back in a moment. My parents are really slowing down. I feel bad. I can't always be there for them. How do I choose between caring for my mother and caring for my own family? I've been looking into the options, but Dad doesn't want to leave his home. What do I do? Struggling to care for an aging parent? You're not alone. Learn how Home Instead Senior Care can provide the personalized in-home care your loved one needs. Home Instead. To us, it's personal. I'm sitting here with Chuck Bass. And uh, Chuck, I know recently you guys had a retreat and uh, the person the speaker I guess was Pat McGoy Mm -hmm. let me tell you I was very impressed with him (laughs) I had Pat here with me I interviewed him and then uh, I went to uh, the chamber had had him at the annual meeting and he was a joy I mean he was really I want to hear from you uh, being in a retreat with him, how was it? It was, it was good. That was my first retreat. Uh, I think Pat had been here before and uh, had a good response. What I try to do is get all the board members together, and Pat comes in and talks, and he's very motivational and, and uh, tries to, 
to work with the bo- new board members and the and the past board members who are still mm-hmm. on the board to, uh, you know, just to be committed to serving on the board, you know, how important attendance is and one of the board, and then just what we could do to help the community. And that's right. And we broke into small groups, and he kind of led us and and. Uh, what are some of the things this year that we wanted to do? And, uh, you know, they're working on a new website. We're, we're trying to come up with possibly a new due structure for the chamber. And one of the things that came out of the chamber was the uh, speaker. The yeah, that doing, hour. doing, uh huh. Trying to, uh, we were trying to, like we said, or like I said earlier, getting the whole community involved. And right. And just not thinking it's just strictly Dublin. Yeah, and it's it's Lawrence County, and how we can how we can include how we can make everybody feel a part of the chamber, and not just think that the chamber is Dublin. Right. And so. Yeah, I mean, is it the Dublin Lawrence Chamber of Commerce? I mean, it's everybody. And trying to uh, reach out to the businesses and hey, what what are y'all what is y'all's needs and. What can the chamber do for y'all? And, right. You know, crime was brought up in, in the breakout sessions, you know, crime and trying to see how we can help work, coordinate right. with the police department and trying to... And the sheriff's uh, office. The sheriff's and, office, right. too, and, and just, uh, you know, cut, you know, feel like you're safe. And exactly. When you're shopping and where, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then just uh, just learning to grow the chamber and, and yeah. have it there. Well, I know also that you co-chair uh, this past, uh, I think it was in May or so, you were the co-chair of the Business and Industry Golf the Appreciation. Um, why is, uh, I mean, I know it was a big success. That's something that everybody goes. <laughs> I don't play golf, but I, I go social. Yeah. <laughs> I go to the social. Why is so big with us that type of things just, that the uh, chamber does? Well, I got to give you know Rob Miller's been doing it for <laughs> several years. Yes. You know, Rob deserves all the credit. I, I you know I just can't when something's you know, if it ain't broke you don't try to go in and fix it. <laughs> you know, I, I play a lot of golf, and so uh, they they asked me to help co-chair with Rob, and you know I'm there. We we come. We're able to do different ideas, and we had some different ideas this year, and, and we were able to um, make a profit, and and uh, that, which in turn helps the chamber yes. and their budget and all. And we tried too to make it, you know, it was called the industry appreciation. Yes. And uh, and at one time, we had a lot more industry appre- uh, participating in the golf tournament. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we also realize that it's for businesses too. You know, just because you're not a big industry, you're just as very important to the chamber. Right. We call it the business and industry appreciation. Yeah. So it'll be coming up in April and May, and we'll encourage everybody to participate. And you know, if you're your owner or your chamber member, and excuse me, you don't play golf, but you know someone that does in your business that likes to play golf exactly maybe sponsor them to play and uh it's just a fun outing we do a big social afterwards and i think everybody has a good time and another thing that i know that the chamber they have been doing it for like 25 years if not more is this shop at home right and let me tell you <laughs> i got one of those checks and yes i know it's only for one year and you have to use it within a year and uh, I noticed that one of mine expired. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but why do you think that it's important for us to actually shop at home? I mean, you're, when you shop, you know, your money stays here. And, you know, as a, you know, any business owner, won't, you know, they hate, they hate to see... Folks go to make business go someplace or, else or, or, yeah you can get something the, the same thing here that you can get from out of town and when you know when you're when you shop and here you're not only helping that business survive and those employees that work right. in that business you know you're, it's just uh it's just a no-brainer 
Yes, and, I mean the uh, money stays in our. I use the taxes stay yes. in Morris County, and and uh, you know what I can't stand for someone to, you know, they'll complain with well, this person went out of town and did this <laughs> and this person, but yet they end up going out of town. They do, you know, they'll go out of town and buy something. And I tell them, you know, well, you got to stay here too, and uh, you know, just it don't matter. We got. We got a lot of great stores, and we do, and that you can that you can get most of. Give us our our support to those. Um, (laughs) More than once, I have if I if I need something that I know I can buy it here in Dublin, even if I'm someplace else because I travel a lot. I wait until I go back to Dublin. I get back to Dublin just to buy that uh, because I know I can buy it here. That's a good point. I mean. There's some things that you're not going to be able to find here. That exactly. You've got to go somewhere else. But right. But you know that, that you, you can, can buy get it here. here. Yes. This is good as you can get it anywhere else. But you need to stay here and uh, absolutely buy it. Support, support our community. Right. <laughs> Chuck, thank you so much for being here with me today thank you and for talking asking. to me today. <laughs> well, I've enjoyed it. Yes, and. All of you out there, thank you so much, and until next time.